Uh, perhaps unsurprisingly, we do have a statement now uh, from the former president on the heels of this unanimous Supreme Court decision. What's he saying about this? It's a short one, Craig. Quote, big win for America, all caps on his social media account. Again, Donald Trump is in Mar-a-Lago ahead of Super Tuesday. We could expect him to go and make statements here today as he did after those oral arguments went before the Supreme Court in which he addressed cameras and suggested this was all part of democratic efforts to try to keep him off of the ballot and try to disenfranchise, in his words, millions of Republican voters here around the country. Now, as for those Republican voters, they're going to have the shot, not only in Colorado, but those other 15 states for Super Tuesday tomorrow for vote for Donald Trump if they, they, if they so choose to, and quite likely come the general election. If Donald Trump does, in fact, become the presumptive nominee, we could expect to see him on the ballot. And for Donald Trump, making that case that there have been efforts to take away the opportunity for him to be at the White House has been at the core of his 2024 presidential White House run. Again, you've, you've spent a, a great deal of time uh, covering the former president when he was in office and since he's been a candidate as is, is well. The reality is, with the exception of Save Washington, D.C. this weekend, um, none of the president's legal problems so far appear to have been... Uh, have any sort of effect on him politically so far? Fair to say? Fair to say. And we've seen the Republicans who were at one point running against him one year ago. It was a year ago, March, when that first indictment came down stemming from the alleged hush money payments in the criminal trial that he faces, which is slated to begin on March 25th, just three weeks from now. It was the Republicans that were running against him that lined up in his defense, even around this, these Supreme Court arguments. It was, again, Republicans from Ron DeSantis to Nikki Haley to Mike Pence, who again were arguing that Donald Trump should remain on the ballot and have come to his defense. And largely, we have seen Republican voters, millions of Republican voters, come to his defense at the ballot box this spring. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.